I hurt all over. So, today, my friend came and got me like he said he would, and we went down to his girlfriend's, which will soon be his home as well. And, uh, he demolished the wall that had to come out at the end of the garden. And he's just bought a piece of land that was at the back of the garden. Just a bit of council land so he could extend the garden and get his workshop, shed, whatever you want to call it, in that space. So he had to take the end wall out, which he did. And, uh, the, ki the kids, bless them, were a great help. His, they're not his. They are, you know, his girlfriend's kids from... I don't actually know if it's from a, a prior relationship or more than one. I don't know. I'm not nosy like that. But yeah, they were awesome help. In fact, I think they shifted most of the rubble themselves. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and of course we had to erect the fence um, using concrete gravel boards, six foot long. I think they were six foot long anyway. One of the fucking heavy uh, concrete posts, and there was three. Yeah, three eight-foot posts, if you count the corner post, and four nine-foot. And that corner post, that took both of us to lift it, and even both of us struggled. That thing was the heaviest out of all of them. Fence panels, are oh, not so bad. It's easier when you've got one on either end. Uh, in the end because we started at about 11 o'clock this morning, I got back here, must have been about 8.30, and we'd been on the go all day, digging three foot holes, and we had to dig seven, I think. I weren't really counting, but it was seven or eight, something like that. And uh, it wasn't, easy because the topsoil, if you like, was fine, but then you'd get about a foot down and you'd hit clay. And if my hand jerks like that, you can blame him. <laughs> so, yeah. And, uh, so it was I think the most time-consuming part was digging the holes. So he's got what he calls a reckon bar, which is basically a solid iron bar, which is about six foot long, so a couple of metres long, something like that. And uh, it's got like a... Well, I suppose you'd call it like a gigantic screwdriver bit on one end, because it's um, like a chisel bit on one end and a point on the other. Well, we're using that to break the dirt up because that clay was pretty tough. Um, but what made matters worse is when we um, dug the first hole, because we just had to do an L-shaped fence. So when we dug the first hole to do the uh, in the opposite direction, <laughs> it was full of well, not just stones. I would have called them fucking boulders, the size of these flints. I'm not kidding. Some of them were coming out of that hole, and there's about five of them, roughly the size of that foam. Hey, up! did I put dead batteries in this by mistake? I think I may have. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, oh well. If we suddenly disappear, then you'll know why, and I'll just have to throw in another couple of batteries. Yes, I'll have to load up the charger and charge some. It won't be tonight, because A, I can't sell the other thing to charge. Oh, Jesus. 
I seriously hurt all over. I don't think I've hurt so much for a long time. Even my hands hurt. My hands, shoulder, elbow on this arm, because as you know I've been having some issues with them lately. Um, feet. Um, legs. Thankfully my left arm isn't too bad and uh, I don't think we're going to be doing any heavy lifting tomorrow. Um, not anything super heavy anyway, it's mostly just uh, lugging the big ass bike trailers back and forth. Probably as many times as possible, but uh, it won't be too late at night because of the kids. Because I'll, uh, well, I think they go to bed at sort of 7.30. Just flying to mum. <laughs> didn't even speak to her yesterday. I couldn't even. I didn't even see her um, get online. So, <laughs> got an odd battery here. Why have I got an odd one? Okay. Another one of these. It must have rolled off the table. Oh no! I found it. No, that's not the one. <laughs> no, nope, I haven't found it. That's uh, probably on a far off fun damn thing later. I'll charge all these up. So, as I'm running out of batteries, there may not be any vlog. More. <sighs> Ow. I just want to go to bed <laughs> and stay there. But at least I'm not the only one that hurt all over because I know my friend does as well. And he suffered joint problems as well. But you know, you just got the motor on. Any, the other problem I've got is. The bike behind me is not done. Just answer mum again. <laughs> Fudge, I don't know what the hell that was. I just stood on the hurt though. Um, oh! Right on. Batteries are showing no bar, so I'm just going to change those. Okay, where was I? Oh yeah, complain about how much pain I'm in. Seriously, I could just probably fall asleep right now. I mean, I've actually scoffed quite a lot of sugary things since I've got home because I didn't eat this morning. And uh, I'm, I know my sugar levels still haven't gone through the roof, so it proves uh, how much they dropped. I did have a donut while I was there, but uh, when I'm doing things like that, I don't really like to eat. Well, that wasn't a bad thing, because it does take a lot for my sugars to drop, because I'm type 2, so because I'm type 2, my sugars usually sit higher than they should be. But, uh, yeah. So, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I mean, that means... I can still go out and do things, most things, without the worry of them dropping and me going into a hypo. Yeah, hypo, when they drop too low. Hyper, when they go too low. Yeah. Yeah, that would actually make sense, because hyper, too much sugar can make you hyper, so yeah, hyper, when they go too high. Hypo when they drop too low. Neither of them are actually <laughs> good. <laughs> Big bright white light on the council office wall. I've actually fixed it. That's only been broken for about a year. And they're on the verge of moving out and then they decide to fix the friggin' light. I wouldn't have bothered, I'd have just left it. I don't know why they did bother actually, because you know, they got to pay the electrician. He came out and replaced the light fit, and he replaced the whole light fit. <laughs> I think the other one had just packed up all together. But the one in the corner has still got some timers. 
I've actually come to the conclusion it's the um, soldier, so, sodium, sodium lamp in that one as well. I sort of felt bad when I left my friends because uh, they invited me in for a cup of tea and we finished but if I'd have taken my boots off and sat down I wouldn't have got up again. <laughs> so I just came home, I stopped off at Sainsbury's on the way and grabbed a loaf of bread. I just came back, got some dinner, and I've been sitting here at the PC ever since. She hasn't been on all the evening. As soon as I pick this up, Hi, I'm on mine. Bitch. <laughs> I jest. And she does the same to me anyway. I swear, when me and Mum get going out in the stores, people must think we're worst enemies. But no, well, it's just friendly banter, that's all. As usual, heard me still haven't kicked the parcel up. Still sit on my land and but now the person that bought the stuff from me has actually said he's moving soon. If he'd have actually had waited then a little longer or told me and I'd have posted them to the new address. There's no guarantee they're gonna get to him now. But uh, I don't know if you can cancel, and uh, I couldn't rebook it now anyway. I don't get paid for another, well, week and a half, nearly. Mm, get off my lap! Your daddy hurts. You come and cuddle up with me when I go to bed later. Like you normally do. And stop licking my bloody hair. It's got this thing now, especially if you want feeding. If I'm in bed, half asleep or asleep, <laughs> and he wants feeding at like, well, lately it's been at like 6, 6.30 in the morning. If I don't resp respond to his meowing, He'll get up on the bed, he'll sit beside the pillow, and he'll start licking my hair. Which I have to admit, I actually find quite relaxing. Annoying, but relaxing. I had a cat once, many years ago, that used to like licking your ears. He doesn't want feeding because I've already fed him. It's one of the first things I did when I got in. I think I'd actually rather go to Mum's tomorrow, but. I would have, uh done this bike tonight, but one, I was home far too late, two, I haven't got the gear cable, and three, I'm feeling too fucked to do it anyway. So, maybe in the morning I'll get at least the tyres done, and the brake disc. It's all like a ten minute job, I suppose, for me. 
a brand new gear cable on my friend's trike he uses to tow his trailer. I think I said that in another video. I can't remember. I think my brain just wants to go to sleep. <laughs> That took me all of 10 minutes because, uh, 25 gears. The old fashioned click, 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 click sort of gear lever. That was, a uh, pretty damn easy to do. That's why I do like those levers. They look crap, but, uh, they're reliable, and they are easy to service. <coughs> um, I'm not really fond of grip shifts. I either like those old fashioned style thumb levers or um trigger shifters. The trigger shifters are actually one of my favourite styles. If you just take two screws out of the cover and take the cover off, put you take your old cable off, put a new one in, put the cover back on. Job's good. <laughs> Bits of tape sticking up like this. <sighs> That means I've got to go digging that epoxy. Well, actually, I don't even know where it is. Oh no, it is my hitch is in the shed somewhere. No. Well, that's the cleaning lady at the council office, but I've just realised that's a boy racer car parked down there. You know what the giveaway is that it's a boy racer car? A white stripe going down the middle of it. <laughs> that's the sort of thing. Was I think in America you'd call them rices or something like that. It's the sort of thing they do here. They make it look nice with the go faster stroke down the middle. Well, actually, that was not exactly down the middle. That's off to one side. But yeah, it may not even be a boy racer car, but it certainly looks like it from here. I don't even know if I'm going to have the strength in the wall to lug this bugger down the stairs. No idea what's going to be the easiest way to lug this stuff from his to hers tomorrow. I suppose I'll be thankful it's in one direction. That we're lugging the stuff and we'll be going back empty. And if I know my friend, we'll probably only get like two, maybe three trips done. Um, he's just got to finish the fence off in the morning, so he can sit and do that first. I think. Wilco opens on a Sunday, so if he wants to just finish off doing that fence, he shouldn't need me. Because, um, it's a half sort of sized panel to fill in at the end. By that time it was too late, so we couldn't cut the gravel board with the um, stone car, so we just sort of tacked in a panel for the time being. Just to stop people coming in the garden and being nosy more than anything, and trying to steal something, so... And it looks like it's raining. It is raining. And fucking doing it in the rain. Well, that's not a bad thing though, because um, the post crate, as they call it, which is a like a powdered cement that you buy in a bag, and you use one bag per post, and all you do is put a bit of dirt in. Back fill the hole with a bit of dirt, pour in and you know, fack it down, pour in the post creep all around the post, fack it down, put your dirt back in on top. When it rains, it mixes with all the post creep, and once it sets, it sets hard. Or you can add, like, a, you know, a watering can of water or something to it, it's up to you. But, uh, the ground is quite wet at the minute anyway, and uh, it's raining again, so my stepdad used the same st no he didn't, he just remember he mixed his own up, mixed his own cement up, he just mixed the sand and cement powder up, and then put that in the hole as the powder, and then just added the water to it. <laughs> Battery light. Oh, it's still on. Two thirds. That's alright. 
yammer on a bit more. Keep me occupied, might keep me awake for a bit. <laughs> <sighs> Got 92 subscribers now. I've I checked. 92 subscribers on this channel. 202. Eh? Mm -hmm. I'll try again. 212 subscribers on the Lego channel. I'm not actually surprised that that one's got the most subscribers. To be honest, more than double. <laughs> um. It is quite a common theme, I suppose. Um, I would like to get this one a bit more popular, you know, but I don't know what to do. So just something. You know, there's 92 of you. I'm sure there's someone out there that could suggest something. Mind you, I've still got that stereo system to look at. Oh, I haven't tried that tonight. I've just got to let it sort of sit here and warm up. I don't know how long it's been sitting in the trailer. It may have got a bit damp. That might be throwing a hissy fit at me. It may have popped something. I don't know. Let's, uh... Flip that on. Nope, it still appears not to be doing anything. When the power light is off, does it mean the stereo is on? Because it comes on when I plug, when I switch it on at the wall. Hit again. Anything? Oh, I can hear the relays clicking. And the fact the relays are clicking indicates some life. But the fact that nothing is powering up indicates but there's a power fault there somewhere. So I wouldn't be surprised if we've got a cat or something blown on the um, power supply. Which I think is this unit here. The main unit. Remember it? Yep, that's got the power cord going in. Uh, Something like this that's gone falling. Causing too much of a current draw or something. I don't know, so I'm gonna disconnect it. Oh, I've unplugged that, now it's not doing anything. Ooh. <laughs> Is it something I'm doing? Ah, maybe it has got to be connected. Because, uh, these connect to that. <laughs> so these aren't actually connected to the system. Not yet. Oh. They only go in one way, don't they? You know, I've got. Is it like a dual way they can go in? No, they will only go in the one way, so. Not like I can cross connect them or anything. There doesn't look to be any dust on the connectors, but I can't see any thing in them. Can't imagine that I'd have to have a speaker connected. I might, but I can't imagine. Turn it on. Connect it all up and nothing happens. <laughs> I've got this gut feeling that it's actually something simple. And I've just got to find it. Yeah, turn it off again. Seems as you've got to have all units connected for this to work. But, you know, there could be a fault on one of the other units that's causing a power malfunction. Possibly. <laughs> Hang on, let me just grab a speaker from off the cabinet here. The only reason I'm grabbing one from here is because it's uh, already got
got speaker wire connected. The ones that I got with the stereo don't have speaker wire on them. So, it doesn't tell me what the wattage of these speakers are, it just tells me the impedance, which is 8 ohms. Is it the same in this one? No. The impedance is the imp impedance, not the impotence. Impotence is when you can't get it up. Anyway, <laughs> blue to blue, green to grey. This is for the bass speaker. This one. We <sighs> put standard speaker wire in. Black and red to black. Red to red. Might work, might not work. Turn on the friggin' more than my help. I'll give you three guesses. Funny feeling there is a power problem with this, to be honest. The phone I've got sort of works. It's still a bit crackly, but usable as a, as maybe an emergency spare or something. Yeah, I really hope he doesn't want me to do any heavy lifting tomorrow because I ain't going to be able to do that on that elbow. Lugging all those friggin' posts around, ouch, as well as the gravel boards, you know, it's like, um, well, a six foot long lump of concrete, which is about an inch and a half thick, which would be, you know, 100 mil, 150 mil thick, something like that, maybe a bit thicker. I had to do conversions off the top of my head, you son of a bitch, I was bloody looking for that yesterday. When I found that, I just got to find the light that goes with it, because the light that goes with it has got the batteries in it. <laughs> it's in the bedroom somewhere. I just can't remember what I did with it. There is a surprise, I can't remember what I did with it. I'm sure I kept it aside because it had the battery, isn't it? Oh well, I don't give a shit now. <laughs> Might give a shit, got up and went, I think. <sighs> anyway, I could just continue to ramble on about putting out of bollocks. But I think I'll turn the camera off. Probably crash on the bed and not get up. <laughs> that sounds like a bloody good plan as tomorrow is Sunday. Ugh. And there's Monday. Um, he was working Monday, but uh, the person he was working for text, sent him a text today and uh, I don't know why they send him a text, he's dyslexic, he can't read the bloody things. That's why he's got WhatsApp, because he can send voice messages. Well, he doesn't keep it a secret either, you know, he tells everyone he's dyslexic. They still send him text messages. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, so if I'm with him, I end up having to read them, and I suppose his girlfriend reads them when he's with her. A dark if you ask me, but never mind. But, yeah, anyway, where was I? Yeah, he's um, now working Tuesday. It's a bit of a pain for me, because I could have done with the rest. I might even have a rest anyway, because I hurt. I think after tomorrow, I am going to be absolutely knackered, so... I think I deserve a lay in.
I don't know if he's got anything else in his workshop that he's going to be getting rid of. More than likely, because there is a lot of rubbish as well, general, actual rubbish. But to be honest, he keeps a lot of things, and I just I don't know why. The tools, I can, you know, I can understand the tools. I know he's got multiple tools of the same tool. He's got two bench grinders. He wants to convert one with um, buffer wheels on, polishing wheels, which is fair enough, you know. Or he could do what my stepdad did and convert an old electric motor into one. Heck knows what this motor came out of, but it was one the landlord gave him. That was down in one of the old pigsties, I believe, down the yard. Because it used to be a pig farm. He's Land, the landlord used to be a pig farmer, but he has long since retired from that. So now he rents the big barn down the yard out to Banger Races, and... You can ask me, or can you? My dish is moving all by itself. That's magic, that. <laughs> and, uh, anyway, my stepdad got this old motor... I think it's from something like a really old washing machine or something. Um, but anyway, yeah, it had all the mounts on it so you could screw it down to something, so we did that. And he mounted the um, buffer wheel on, and I put a plug on the end, only to find that wiring it up correctly, you know, red to live, black to neutral, green to earth. And it spun in the wrong, wrong direction for the buffer wheel. Um, because spinning normally was causing the screw that held it onto the end of the motor to unscrew so your buffer wheel would fly off. And uh, <laughs> as I knew it was just a bog standard motor, I just opened the plug up, swapped the live neutral around so it would rotate in the other direction. <laughs> Simple. <laughs> A lot of motors you can do that, you know, that's how they reverse a motor. They reverse the current through it. That's pretty much all I did. <coughs> okay. Now he's got he's got shitloads of well actually he's taken a lot of his tools over already. Um hopefully we've got enough hammers and things there to take that workshop down and uh, it's going to take a lot of trips because uh, he said it's about 19 foot long I don't know how many meters that would be or so 3 point something feet to a meter so 3 foot 3 inches I think to a meter we'll just check that not tape measure, let's just check it. Ferrari, 100 centimetres is a metre, isn't it? Just knock that there, so... Yeah, three foot three inches. Three, six, nine... Five, maybe six meters in length. I don't know, but maybe three, four deep, and it's high. The roof is going to be the biggest bitch because he used. <sighs> there must have been like five-inch bloody screws he stuck in there, if not long, no longer than that. Probably more like eight inch, probably about that long. So, something like that, or maybe even six inch. I know they have bloody good long. And nails as well. And they're made out of um, floor joists for houses. So, yeah, they're going to be fun to take down. I'm not looking forward to that. I think I might have to collar someone else for an extra pair of hands.
Bye.